Could someone reopen my closed email account? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where I've been answering questions like this one since 2003. I've been sharing opinions too and you're about to get one. Let me read the question. I have terminated my Yahoo account. There's a clause in the form that says after 90 days, my user ID can be made available to others. Does that mean that if someone then snaps up my old username, they could start impersonating me? Would they see everyone on my contact list? Would my old contacts see them and think I was back online? So this does get complicated pretty quick. Could they impersonate you? Absolutely. Could they see the information you had previously stored in that account? No. There's the good news. This is such a common scenario and there definitely are side effects that a lot of people don't think about. So I'm going to walk through exactly what those issues are. And ultimately, I have a suggestion. The issue here is that if you go to any of the major email providers like Yahoo or Gmail or Microsoft or whomever and close an account that you have with them, they typically give you what they call a grace period to change your mind. Now that grace period could be 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180. We don't know. Sometimes they publish it as you have seen with Yahoo. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes the grace period is zero so that the moment you close your account, it's gone forever. But fortunately for most of the major free email services, there's at least something like a 30 or a 90 day grace period. Now, how you indicate you change your mind is actually pretty simple. You log in. That's usually enough to tell the system that, no, I didn't really mean to delete this. I'm logging in so that I can start using it again. That's going to be important here in just a moment. But the bottom line is that after that grace period, some things can happen. And it's important to understand exactly what those things are. First, when the grace period expires, your email is deleted. Your contacts are deleted. Your settings are deleted. Basically, your account, such as it was when you were using it, is now gone completely. It's not possible for you or for anyone else to log into that account. It's not possible for you or anyone else to recover any data that was still in the account. It's well and truly gone. Now, the other thing and the issue that's actually raising your concern here is what happens to your email address, the ID that identifies the, that account to the system. Well, at the time the grace period expires or sometime thereafter, that email address may be made available for reuse. What that means is that someone creating a new account could come along and try to create a new account with your old email address. And it would succeed because your old email address is no longer in use. Now, to be fair, some systems don't repurpose or allow email addresses to be reused. They simply prevent them. They once assigned to one person ever, they are never reassigned again. Those systems are rare and it's a bad assumption to make anyway. The assumption you need to make is that at some point after the grace period has expired and your account is truly deleted, your old email address could be made available for someone else to use as their own. Again, your data is gone. They won't see your email. They won't see your folders. They won't see your contacts. They'll have a brand new account with your email address. So what happens when someone has your old email address? Let's start by assuming the best. Let's assume that these people are not trying to do anything malicious. They simply signed up for a new email address. They asked for yours and it worked because you deleted that account. They now have an email address that you used to have. A couple of things matter. One is that anybody that's still sending email to your old email address, it'll go to this new person. That could be an old friend that you've fallen out of contact with. It could be a store that you were doing business with. 
It could be anything that has an email address that you used to use and you used to get email from. The person who has your old email address now will start getting those emails. One of the danger scenarios is if you've used this old email address as an account recovery address for some other important account that you still have. It's not uncommon. I hear about people losing access to their accounts because they've done exactly this. They've let their alternate email address expire and fall into disuse. If someone then gains access to that old recovery email address and they somehow find out that it is a recovery email address for an account you care about, yeah, they could potentially hack into your account. And this is where we start looking at people not necessarily always being benign. They may not have malicious intent, but if they do, things get weird because all of a sudden, like I said, if you used this as a recovery email address, they could hack into the account for which it is the recovery email address. If you used it as an email address at your bank, they may have access to your bank. If you used it as an email address in a conversation with someone, they could attempt to impersonate you in that conversation. It's one of those things where there are just too many things, all of them unlikely, but there are just too many things that could potentially go wrong if this email address was ever used for anything even slightly significant. What I honestly recommend, don't delete the account. Use a different email address if you like. Use different accounts for what you want to use them for. But this account that we're talking about that may have been used for some other things, don't ask for it to be deleted. Don't let there be a grace period and don't let it go away on its own because you're not using it. Log in once a month to keep it active. Use that as an opportunity to see who else is still emailing you on that address and have them change perhaps. But reality is there are just too many little things that could come out of nowhere and bite you if you allow an old email address of yours to be assigned to someone else. In most cases, nothing's going to happen, but it could. And the simplest solution is simply not to delete the email address at all. I hope that was helpful. For the original article on which this video was based, to leave comments there for any updates there, visit askleo.com slash 2991. I'm Leo Dautenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.